Hey everybody, I hope you are doing well. I'm a Fefe with Touch by Tarot. I am an intuitive tarot reader. I also use oracles. And so if you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you landed. I hope you like what you see. And if so, please hit that like and subscribe button, even that notification bell. That would be awesome. For those who are returning, you know how I feel. I truly appreciate you more than I can even say. So I thank you for your support. Uh, I am here to, ch uh, sorry, I was not here last week for the week ahead check-in. I took a little break, had a little vacation. You know, it was that time. I needed to step away, get off the grid for a minute, but I am back and we're going to take a look at the week ahead. I am taping this on Sunday, May 14. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers, male or female, whatever gender. If you nurture and love whomever, if you take care of others, whether it's, you know, you are a birth, a biological parent, or you have a pet, whatever you take care of people however you nurture others i honor you on this day okay so we're going to take a look at the week ahead i'm going to look at you the energies around you this coming week what you need to expect and, and you know be aware of i'm going to take a look at your environment and also i'm always checking in to get advice from spirit for you all right so let's look spirit for the week ahead starting uh march 14 through March. Why did I put the clock back? Woo! Uh, May 14th through May 20th. What's wanting to come there? The Queen of Cups. All of this Mother's Day. Did you all see that just happen? All right. Spirit is here and with you. I think spirit, your spirit guides want to wish you a happy Mother's Day as well. Because of all the cards in the deck, maybe aside from the Empress in, in the Tarot deck, the Queen of Cups certainly offers that yummy, mothering, nurturing, loving energy. So there you have it. We're going to just sit her there to the side. All right. So May 14th through the 20th, the energies that are going to be expected the environment and your advice please spirit your advice all right let's see what's happening what's coming down the pipe right all right ah oh, are you ready for this just pull just this came out of the deck as we were shuffling right talking about that mothering energy and what did i say i said bar the empress that would be the mothering in, in, uh, energy how about who shows up now at the bottom of the deck the empress you all i feel like this is such a blessing i hope you felt that what a blessing so immediately the energy in this moment, as I do this reading for you all on Sunday the 14th, um, <laughs> the energy is all about feeling loved, feeling nurtured, feeling supported, um, feeling protected, you know, in that mothering way, feeling like what you have and your ability to experience life in a way that's good and, and knowing that someone cares and someone is there for you. Your spirit guides have stepped up in a major way this morning and, and are showing you that with the Empress and the Queen of Cups back to back. All right, so let's go. The energy of you, around you, in your environment, and advice from spirit. I'm going to pull a couple of more and then I'll, I'll uh, interpret for you. The energy, your energy, the energy around you, and advice from spirit. One more. Your energy. The energy around you. And advice from spirit. And by the way, I know somebody's going to ask me. So let me tell you now. I am reading this week from the Astro Matrix Tarot. This is like, I've been on this. I got it a couple of weeks ago. Really, really connecting with it. Awesome deck. It's like the Rider Waite, for those of you who read tarot, it's, it follows the traditional, um, the traditional deck, but it just brings it. It's like a more modern interpretation with the artwork. Really beautiful. All right, so March, uh, March again. What is with me in the March? I need to look into that. Uh, May 14th through the 20th, you have Temperance, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. This week, you are, oh, this feels so good, you all, and bravo to you. You are definitely at a crossroads, but it's clearing up. This Two of Swords is you making some decisions around 
something that you need to see, something that you've been thinking over, some decision that is sort of in limbo and you you want to make it, but you want to make sure that you make the right decision. And I think the reason, you know, always, almost always with the two of swords, we see that person kind of blindfolded because the idea is there's something that you need to know, see, um, there's something that still needs to be revealed to you. It's also notice that moon in the background, moons having to do with illumination and seeing something shining a light on something so that you can make the best decision. So many of you are in that position right now where maybe you're getting ready to do something different. You're on the verge of a decision, the verge of maybe even a major purchase or, or you know, taking a class or changing a job or starting a business or anything, you know, a new relationship or tweaking an existing relationship, all those sorts of things, personal development, but there's something in the works right now for you. And you're not quite there in terms of knowing exactly what it is that you want to do about it. However, you're very certain in terms of what you want it to feel like because we got that nine of cups. And so for you, in order for you to make the decision and make it comfortably, it need, you need to be, you know, have a, have a degree of certainty that it's going to lead to what your goal is. In other words, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you make a decision, you make a move in a certain direction, and then you have to double back or you, or you realize, oops, you know, I knew I should have waited longer because I wound up choosing the wrong thing. It's it what's motivating you. And this is what's going to help you make the right choice or decision decision or move is the the nine of cups pay attention to picture yourself with the outcome of whichever way you're you're tempted to go and if it makes you feel good if you can see yourself in that you know with that result and it feels good to you pay attention to your hunches right now especially because remember we started this reading with that divine mothering intuitive energy the empress and the queen of cups so this is you being able to make decisions that are consistent with ultimately what you want long term and what you deserve long term this is the wish card, but it is for you. It's a wish that not just wishing for something that's outside of your control, but it's you being in a place of being able to make a decision that's going to move you in the direction of your desires and wishes. All right. You're in the driver's seat. Now, your third card for this week is temperance. How awesome is that? Because what temperance does is it says, I'm going to take talk about that two of swords. I'm going to take if there's oppositional energy, if it's like I have to take my what I want into consideration with what my partner wants or in my job, uh, you know, in my job, in my career, I have to pay attention to how, how I'm behaving, what the situation is compared to how it's going to impact my coworkers or my office. I got to, you know, sometimes we get into those politics of, you know, the employment sector. All of us, have, you know, most of us have been there. Right. So with temperance, it's taking being able to take all sides of the situation and blend it you know this is the one thing happening another thing happening two different people opposing views whatever is going on and synthesizing it into that pot to create what you want to create that nine of cups feeling to get the desired result from it all right so this week bottom line is you you're doing the work and even though the result isn't here, I don't see the result coming from this in this week, but it is definitely putting things in motion that are going to ultimately, like you're looking for the win-win in this scenario, all right? And temperance gives you that. It gives you the ability to see both sides of a situation, to be able to weigh out and, and blend. You know, I'm really good at this. The other person is really good at that. Together, we can make something good. If it's a business partnership, you know, use each other's strengths. If it's a personal relationship, use each other's strengths to create something even better. All right. If this is health, by the way, because very often temperance will come up in a health reading. So if some of you are having a health challenge and so perhaps you have, you know, 
holistic ways of dealing with it as well as more traditional medicine western medicine it's doing both it's it's doing the yoga but also keeping your doctor's appointments okay it's doing the exercise but also taking care of your diet this is where you blend multiple things to get the best result possible all right that's what's happening with you now around you this week we have isn't this interesting we have the hierophant the devil and the seven of pentacles I'm gonna tell you two main things that I'm seeing here actually three if this is your work environment and um, and what you feel like you have to do with that devil and the hierophant because the devil, the hierophant very often has to do with the structures in our lives. And also, um, remembering too, the hierophant is ruled by Taurus. We are still in Taurus season. So that's very interesting that that comes for us. I think it's very timely that that comes right now. The hierophant is an energy of authority. It is often an energy, as you know, around, um, as many of you will know, around spiritual authority. All right? But... In a broader context, it can also represent who has authority around us or what we look to to give us structure and authority, who we consider the experts, the teachers that we look to, the, the mentors that we look to, the supervisors, the managers that we look to, the doctors that we look to, those whose opinions we value and we feel compelled to take their advice, all right? Now, came with the devil. Devil has to do with attachments and sometimes unhealthy attachments. So, for instance, if if you are in a relationship, um, whether it is business or romantic or even family, where there's a lot of history there, there's a lot of what you have come to depend on and rely on, but there's an aspect of the relationship where perhaps you've become too dependent, where perhaps you've you know you've been ignoring or are tempted to ignore this week in particular we're looking at what's around you if there's influence from these energies whatever area of life if it's a business romance family all the different areas where a teacher all areas where someone has influence over you then there's a question being raised here to think about i think that's why you again going back to you making the decision around what you really want and having to consider those different opinions in order to do it or those different ways to work around this is a perfect compliment because if this is what is around you this really influential energy all right and again this would be something that is you're not opposed to it this would be something that or someone that you have bought into that is a part of you that is a part of your fabric that you've become attached to but what happens when the devil comes, it's about, is that attachment getting you where you need to be? Is that attachment healthy? Are you ignoring your own instincts because you're busy listening to what someone else is telling you is best for you or good for you? Are you being seduced or tempted into, you know, giving over when you know deep down inside of yourself this is not the decision I want to make this is not the way that I want to go this is not really really good to me so your environment and your third card in this section perfect uh, compliment here with the devil and the hierophant is that seven of pentacles because what does seven of pentacles energy do it does do it stops to assess what the heck is going on all right when you get that seven of pentacles it's a moment to say okay this is what I've built based on, you know, with the Seven of Pentacles, there's stuff that's been built. So, for instance, make it practical. If this is about, just as an example, if this is about a career, a business situation, and what you've built is a salary, a way of life, a certain stability, the 401k, the health plan, you've built these things. It Then this is about how do I, how do I assess the degree to which what I am building is healthy for me. How do I assess that? How do I continue to follow this? Or is, the, is it time? Am I approaching a time where in order for me to really get what it is that I want, Nine of Cups, 
I'm going to have to make some decisions around that. I cannot wait to get to this third part and get advice from Spirit around this for you. So what Spirit has to say, we got the Six of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Magician. Huh, I love this. You know what? Spirit is basically saying a couple of things. While you are assessing the situation this week, Okay, while you are examining who has power in your life and to what extent you're willing to continue to follow that advice, um, remain attached in that relationship. And this could, I, I didn't say it before, but I'm, I'm thinking of it now, Spirit's bringing it to me. If this is a behavior relative to your health as well, mental, physical, spiritual health, then don't count that out. It's time to re-examine that this week it's time to re-examine that because there's a choice that you have to make what did we start this reading out with a choice that you're ready to make or or preparing to make and there's knowledge that you still are sort of you know getting together for yourself in order to be able to do it with confidence all right so now you have the seven of cups and what spirit is saying comes with that six of cups as well is saying remember what makes you feel good Remember playfulness. There's a seriousness here for some of you all with that hierophant and that devil coming. There's a there's a seriousness here. There may be where you're not feeling as joyful about whatever this is that you've been doing. If it is your work, if it's your relationship, your home, your family, so many areas of life. But whatever it is that seems like it's gotten a little thick, you know, a little thick, a little heavy, a little, you know, you may be... Um, again, that codependency comes up really strong, I'm feeling, for some of you, where you've begun to doubt your own ability to make decisions, to make moves, to succeed on your own, and so you've been, you know, you're placed in a position of being dependent. If this is financial dependence, and that's a real thing, don't beat yourself up about it, it happens, you know. Sometimes we are in a position where we've built our lives and a certain way that we exist depends on what somebody else does but what spirit is saying is you're going to have to make some choices this week to examine you've got two sevens here let's not you've got seven of pentacles and the seven of cups seven being a deeply spiritual number but a number of knowledge it is a number of understanding and being ready to move on because you have reached a certain level of understanding okay so as you are evaluating your physical world, your money, your health, your job, your family, all of those things, Spirit is saying, be grateful for exactly how many choices and options you have. Because sometimes we forget. We do have options. And we, we can get so accustomed to doing things in a certain way in our little day-to-day -day routines that we forget to, to how much is available to us and it's okay to switch it up every now and again you know it's okay if you've been doing one thing forever it's okay to make a decision to and you know I think I'm gonna try a little bit of this all right because the six of cups that came with it is remembering when it was fun you know remember when when work was fun remember when the relationship and the dating was fun remember when your health was was good and you felt vibrant like tapping back into that because as you tap back into those feelings of what 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 brought you joy what you know when when innocence was a part of it when you were able to do something with a sense of wonder that's that's where those that seven of cups comes in those are the choices that you have to make right now and the assessment that you're making with that seven of pentacles okay you're thinking about this week is going to be well hold up let me let me review what I what worked for me before and how can I tweak it you know if it, again if it is a relationship that's gotten a little stuck with that with that uh hierophant you know hierophant again being um from um Taurus being ruled by Taurus is a fixed energy it's a beautiful energy it is about mastering knowledge mastering your faith your beliefs what you stand on but sometimes it can get a little stale because it's been you've been this way for so long it's time to switch it up a little bit and your last card here you have it the magician 
This is why you have the Seven of Cups, because the magician calls in using all resources and having all resources available calls into existence what that next step or thing is. The magician knows what it wants. The magician knows what that desire is, that not going back to that Nine of Cups. The magician knows deep down what your honest, earnest, authentic desires are. And, and says from spiritual, this is your spirit guide speaking here. We're here for you and we can place in your, in your mind, in your, in your, in your pathway, we'll bring things in front of you, the tools that you need, you know, the opportunities that you need, the doors that you need, the information that you need, the new teachers and mentors that perhaps you need, the friends, perhaps for some of you, this just came to me as well with that six of cups, perhaps for some of you, the magic, your magic and your ability to manifest what you need at this point in time has to do with somebody from your past. It could be someone whose, you know, whose friendship, whose whose advice, whose energy you just love being around, someone with whom you can laugh. Because as you're doing that, you are creating more of what you really want, right? One of the main things in, in the, and going back, all of this ties so well into what came for us at the very beginning of this reading, which is this incredible nurturing, manifesting energy from the divine feminine. Being able to create the existence that you want rather than feeling dependent with that devil um, on, you know, what's always been or the habits that you've developed. And it's time this week you're really going to be kind of taking a look at that so you can figure out how to really work your magic or how to tap in to those who will help you rediscover your magic perhaps. All right. Have a great one. Let me know what you thought about this reading. I wish you a fantastic week and I'll talk to you really soon. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, by the way, I should say, um, you can book on my website, which is trulytouchedbytarot.com. All right. All one word, trulytouchedbytarot.com. Uh, or you can feel free to email me at touchedbytarot at gmail.com. All right. Have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.